The countdown to the new school year is on and many at-risk children in the city might not be prepared. That's where organizations like One More Wear Foundation come in and that's also where we find Ji Yun Lee live in the parking lot at 299 Queen Street West with some pretty cool rides behind you, Ji. Good morning, Eden. Good morning, Phil. Yes, hard to believe that the kids are going to be going back to school shortly. I know maybe some of them might not be happy. Parents, yes, <laughs> but that's okay. They're getting ready. They're getting their hair done. We've got some cool vintage cars here, and this all this is all for a very special back to school drive taking place this Saturday in Scarborough. Joining me now are Jason, Andrew, and Raymond Miller. They're brothers. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, so tell me a little bit about this uh, back to school drive and how it all came about. Yeah, so this is our 10th annual back to school supply drive and car show. Uh, this is something that we started quite some time ago. We wanted to give back to our community. We're all originally from Scarborough as well. So we say, you know what, uh, the way things are going and we know there's families in needs. How can we do, how can we support? How can we pull people together, pull our resources together, bring the community together? And we wanted to give back. So this is something we've been doing and this is our 10th year. Congratulations. How many backpacks and school supplies do you think you've given out every year? Every year, on average, about two to 300 backpacks. Wow. Uh, you know, we've been consistent for the 10 years, uh, and we're looking to give out more. So if you guys are at home and want to sell and support, make sure you guys pull up on us on Saturday, 4040 Lawrence Avenue, East Scarborough Storefront. We'll be there. So everyone come through and help us out. And Raymond, tell me a little bit about the vintage cars and the haircuts and the braiding. So basically the cars are helped to inspire the young kids to come out, support the program. Obviously we're giving backpacks, knapsacks, crayons, and then obviously the cars are a nice little touch to get the kids excited. That's the key. Yeah, it's, it makes it into a really fun, cool event. Um, were there moments where, because I know something like this is a lot of work, were there moments where you're like, oh, I don't know if we can keep doing this, but then you just get inspired by the kids? Well, the pandemic, I think, was our hardest year. Mm. And, you know, a lot of people just didn't have it and didn't want to be outside, but we pushed through that year, and then actually the pandemic that year was our biggest uh, successful year for the back-to-school event. So we realized that, you you know, sometimes pushing through those hard time obstacles will result in some something greater than us. So we're not stopping and we can keep on going. Tell me a little bit about the importance of being able to give to you a back to the community and for kids who may not be able to afford these things. Yeah, so it's definitely important as everyone knows inflation, the cost of living is going up. Uh, one more where we provide clothing and body image self-esteem programming and whatnot. But we also know the importance of coming back to school in the financial times and how expensive things can be. So like I said, we always just want to rally together and bring the community, bring the corporations, bring everyone together and just say, hey, how can we help? How can we can make sure that they have school supplies, clothes. We even have sponsors for hair products and things like those lines. So we do things a little different in Scarborough. So like I said, you know, we have do-rags, bonnets, things that, like I said, a lot of the community and the black youth definitely need that don't obviously get um, that kind of attention. But hair products and things like that is very important for our community. So we have Chloré as a support and they help, us, uh, they help us out as well. This is a free event, but people need to sign up. So where can they go for all this information? Well, to register for the event, you can check out all that information on onemorewear.com. Uh, we're also on social media on Instagram as well, so that's probably the best way to DM us and let us know how to go. To you have to event. sign up for this event, Definitely right? have to sign up for the event. Come to the, if you want to drop off a backpack, by all means, pull up, no problem. But to get a haircut and to get a backpack for your, your youth or your child, definitely pre-register in advance. Okay, this is this Saturday from 12 to 4 p.m. again in Scarborough at uh, that community center. East Scarborough storefront, a hub for all things uh, happening in the Galloway community. So shout out to the East Scarborough Storefront for supporting us. Okay, and we're gonna have more on this very cool event in the next segment. We're gonna talk about oh, yeah. the braiding and the hair. Oh, yeah. I always say <laughs> hair is so important. It's essential. It's yeah. essential, yeah. right? Yeah, definitely essential. Okay, and we're gonna enjoy uh, the kids here as well. They're gonna be sitting in the cars having a good time. It's hard to believe, but the kids are going back to school in two weeks and all the parents are like, yes, including myself. The kids are getting ready. Look at Jodeci, he's got a fresh new braid. It looks amazing. How do you feel? I feel really good about it. <laughs> Show it off. Let's see the back of it. Very cool. And this is all part of a very cool event happening this Saturday in Scarborough, a backpack drive. You're going to see the vintage cars. You can get a fresh new braid, fresh new haircut. The Miller brothers join me now. And when I say brothers, like real brothers, right? Real brothers. Yeah, so youngest, <laughs> oldest, and middle. Okay. So tell me, I know you. it's a backpack drive. People can come and grab the school supplies. But tell me a little bit about the vintage cars and the haircuts and stuff. Sure, sure definitely. So what we 
we got here right now yeah. is a 1971 General mm -hmm. Motors vehicle. Uh -huh. It's sitting on the 20, sorry, sorry, let me switch over here. Yeah. It's sitting on the 28s. <laughs> very, very clean, nice paint job. Custom interior with a young man holding, my son actually, holding some backpacks, illustrating how important it is to give back to the community and always reestablish as many things as we can. Also, we've got a 77 uh, Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme over here. And so when the kids come, they're just having a good time. They can hop in the cars, and it's all part of making it a fun day. Definitely, definitely. It's all about the kids, for sure. Okay. And then we've got haircuts and fresh braids happening. Why is this important? Well, you know, Jay the Barber has been a part of our organization for about 10 years now from the very beginning. So shout out to last section, two shops uptown and downtown, hooking us up, you know? Love it. Yeah. And Jay, really quickly, you've been here part of the right from the beginning. Why was it important for you to do this? To be honest, it's the look on the kid's face when you see them have uh, a new hairstyle they've never gotten before and they get a, back a brand new backpack for the year. Um, it's, worth, it's, it's, it's worth everything, you know? I love it. Yeah. I love it. They come in, they look great for school because really at the end of the day, everybody wants a fresh new do, a fresh new haircut for school. Tell me, Anjali is here and you're going to do a little special spoken word That's for right. us. Okay, we'll let you take it away. Thank you. This world helps us develop our self-worth, confidence and dreams, but it's not the land and water that makes up our world. It's the people we meet because people change people. We interact through one's touch, connecting through our hearts and never fading away. As we go through this roller coaster of life, we meet hearts that meet like a magnet, creating love that never dies. Thank you. Thank you. And so, Jason, you're really bringing the community together, doing things like this. Yeah, we just want to inspire everyone to do initiatives like what we've been doing. You know, we started in Scarborough. We want to inspire other people in all the parts of the rest of the city to just bring the community together, support each other. And like I said, it takes an effort and everyone coming together. And this young lady, she's been a part of the organization and she's been growing. I saw her last year, another event, and she was fumbling this year, as you see, perfection. So we like to support the youth. We like to instill that confidence in them and give them these opportunities to showcase their talent as well. Well, thank you so much. It's going to be a very cool event. And again, giving back to the community for 10 years. You have to sign up to get to this event. For information, go to onemorewear.com and one as in the number one. This Saturday from 12 to 4 p.m. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. It's one of the largest <laughs> Korean festivals in this country, and it's all in celebration of diplomatic relations between our two countries. The Korean festival kicks off today, and our Jian Lee is at Mel Lastman Square with more on the party ahead. And I know where there's dancing, you can usually find G. Break dancing? G's got a break dance? I'm gonna try, Bakari. I'm gonna try, Beatrice. Hey, you're watching Fusion MC all the way from Korea. This is a breaking group, and they're gonna be performing all this weekend, today, tomorrow, and Sunday at the Toronto Korean Festival. Joining me now is the spokesperson for the festival, Ms. Hyun Chu Chai. Whoa! I guess we have to be very careful yeah, yeah. where we stand. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. So, I'm so excited. Yes. Yeah, my name is Hyun Chu Chai. I'm hosting Toronto Korean Festival. We are starting as old name, Korean, Toronto uh, Korean Harvest Holiday Harvest Festival since 2001. Wow. Yeah, so this is over 20 years. Yeah, so then last year we reborn as Toronto Korean Festival. So for this year we are presenting. Uh, I invited three groups from Korea on the stage. Fusion MC, as you can see, their national level of break dance, and so it will be Olympic team, yes. you know, for next time. And also, uh, I invited just to be. K they will show what is the real K-pop boy band. And also, I invited the Rolling Courts. Yes. They are, I love them. They are really funky female band. So they will have a full stage, and of course, we'll have a traditional, authentic dance and the dancing competition, singing competition, whole around for three days on the stage. In addition, we are presenting 20 
Korean street food booth. Then you can see what is the real Korean street food. And also we'll have a kimchi experience for tasting and you know, and some making class and everything. Amazing. Okay, I'm gonna talk to Found here. Uh, he is the spokesperson for the group. Good morning. Hi, hi. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice to see you. I don't know how you do it on the concrete. Oh, thank you. We're, it kind of hurts, but we're doing our best. We're doing our Tell best. me a little bit about Fusion MC and the dance. Yeah, so we're Fusion MC, a South Korean breaking crew. Uh, we were formed in 2002, and since then we won over 40 world final competitions. So. What are your thoughts of uh, breakdancing being in the Olympics? Oh, gosh, it is... Um, it's a big task for us, you know, we have to do our best. We have to show the world that breaking is a legitimate thing. So it's a big task, but we're feeling good about it. This is the first time Fusion MC is performing here in Toronto. Yeah, no, it's our first time here. We're really excited and we're headlining at the Toronto Korean Festival. We heard it's the number one festival in Canada, yeah. so. It's the yeah. biggest one. There's so many people here. Yeah, no, we're, we're, we're feeling really honored and we're, we're feeling really grateful to be here. All right, so you're gonna show us a few dance moves. I'm gonna bring in Miss Chai again. Uh, I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but why don't you show us a couple of dance moves? Woo! What's what's an easy move? Go ahead, Miss Chai. Go ahead. All right. We're just gonna stand here. Yeah. We're stand here. We're gonna right leg out. Right. Okay. Step back. Left leg out. Step back. Left. Right. Left. Right. Pose. Yeah. Easy, right? Easy, right? Okay. That's cool. We'll give that a yeah. try. So again, the Tron let's go for it. The Toronto Korean Festival starts today. Please, six, seven. So the Toronto Korean Festival starts today, wraps up on Sunday. Fusion MC will be here. Lots of food. You don't want to miss it. We're going to take a break here on CP24 Breakfast. More to come. Right now, you're watching Somer Nori. This is uh, Korean drumming, and they're also going to be performing here at the Toronto Korean Festival at Mount Lassman Square. Starts today, runs through till Sunday. I'm going to bring in spokesperson Miss Hyun Chu Chai. You look beautiful. Hi, thank you. Good morning, everybody. So I love that you're wearing a traditional yeah. Korean dress, and we have the traditional performance here. Tell me about the importance of showcasing Korean tradition. Yeah, so then, you know, we have a, a lot of uh, uh, drum and Korean uh, traditional uh, performance on the stage. And then for, especially for this year, we invited three groups of, from, directly from Korea. That is a Fusion MC, uh, B-Boys, Breaking Dancing Team, and Just Be, their amazing boy group for showing what is the real K-pop and rolling courts. They are funky female band, and we'll have a 20 food booths, 30 uh, market booths, and uh, a lot of giveaway. Everything is free. You can enjoy K-pop, K-culture, everything. Right. Thank you so much, Ms. Chang. You look beautiful. Thank you. And then I'm going to bring in spokesperson here, Jisa. Come on here. Hi, how are you? Good morning. Oh, good morning. This is beautiful. Tell me a little bit more of your drumming group. So the, our group is called Samur Nori Canada, and Samur Nori means play of four instruments. So you'll see that there's two metal instruments, two leather instruments that come together to play. Uh, our group has been together since 2001, and since then we've been just playing here, um, bringing the Korean traditional music to Canada. How important is it to showcase uh, traditional Korean music and drumming to a Canadian audience? Um, I. I think um, the Korean, this style of uh, drumming is quite uh, exciting and brings a lot of energy, uh, which is be befitting uh, this kind of festival. Yeah, this is the largest Korean festival in Canada, so you're gonna have a huge audience. What can people expect from your performance? Uh, again, we, it will be a lot of energy, a lot of excitement. Um, so just enjoy it along with us. Okay, thank you. I'll let you join the group again. Thank you. So again, the festival, the largest Korean festival in Canada, taking place starting today, right through till Sunday at Mel Lastman Square. You're going to see not only Summer Nori, but also Fusion MC, the breaking group that we just featured last segment, and K-pop groups, Just Me. We'll send it back to you in studio.
You can expect so much at the Toronto Korean Festival. We're talking delicious food, amazing vendors, and then headlining incredible acts all the way from Korea. We've got Fusion MC, Rolling Quartz, and Just B. Good morning. Good morning. Come all the way from Korea. We have some of the members here. Bain and Gun will speak. Good morning, Bain. How are you? Hi, I'm good. <laughs> yeah. So this is the second time that Just B has come to Toronto. Right, yeah. What can everyone expect from your performance this weekend here at the Toronto Korean Festival? Uh, okay, go ahead. Go. <laughs> all right, right, right. right. Um, we have good energy. Yeah, we had lots and lots of energy to share, and we're so excited. And I know the fans are excited. Uh, there are so many K-pop fans in Canada. So there's a fan uh, event as well to meet you. Yeah. Can you give us a little bit of information on that? Okay, like about the fan events, like we're gonna take a picture together with our fans. Like it's really, yeah, it makes really good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you think of Canadian fans? Enormous, like, oh yeah, so good, lovely. I love you guys. <laughs> um, you have new music coming out. Can you give us a little bit of um, some information on that? Yes. It'll be on October, and the music will be really good. So, gotta look forward to it. And some of the members here, they'd like to say a few words. How about we go through? Maybe our leader, yes. Jimin, wants to say something to Canadian fans. <laughs> I love you to the moon and back. Love you. <laughs> I'm so excited. Look forward, please. Yay! I love you. Thank you. Have a good day. Yeah, have a nice day. Uh, we together. Oh, sorry. That's okay. I love you. You don't want to miss Just B. Here's a little sample of what we can expect. What are you going to do right now? Uh -huh. uh, we're going to show you guys a little bit of our performance. Shall we? Go ahead. Yeah, let's yeah. go. Yeah. yeah, let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, just be. Okay. real treat you're gonna show me a couple of dance moves oh, all right so yeah. what are you gonna show me cross your finger first okay <laughs> yeah like this. and then put here one yes <laughs> oh, one yeah. two three four okay here we go so sh okay one yeah 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 so one two three four five six. oh star. okay star. yeah okay, let's yeah. try it i'm gonna come in the middle can we cue the music again? Go for it. And here we go. Yes. All right. Let's try two, three, four, nine. Oh! Thank you so much. Don't miss Just Me at the Toronto Korean Festival. It starts today right through till Sunday. We'll Bye. say we're going to take a break here on CP24 Breakfast. Have Bye. a nice day. Bye. Bye. Love you. Love you.